In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between a physical and a logical network topology. So when we're talking about a topology, think about it as being synonymous as a blueprint. So if you remember earlier on in the course, I said that a network is composed of two components. It has a physical component and it has a logical component. So when you're talking about the physical component, think of that as the physical blueprint for the building, the actual placement of those devices. So let's take, for example, let's say that we are hired as contractors to set up a network for a small business, and we need to determine where everything is going to be physically placed. So we have servers, we have switches, we have routers, we have firewalls, we have printers, we have a variety of different devices. And we need to actually define on that blueprint where we're going to put them, where the cabling is going to go and so forth. That is the physical topology. It's as simple as that. It's where everything is physically connected. Now, on the flip side, the logical topology, well, that deals with the actual data and how it flows. And this is a bit more complex because different devices like, let's say, for example, a switch here. and a wireless access point here. So I'll just say WAP. Well, they have different protocols that tell them how things are supposed to flow. When I say things, I'm talking about the data. And specifically, we have something called Ethernet. We have something called CSMA slash CD. And we have something called 802.11 and CSMA slash CA. But when we're talking about these, we're talking about Ethernet and CSMA slash CD and 802.11 and CSMA slash CA, these things are talking about how the data flows. They dictate how the data flows and you're going to learn how those work. I actually have them broken down into process flows so you understand exactly how these work and the rules for data being flowed through wireless and wired networks. So that's the difference between a physical and a logical topology. Again, this is just a very basic high level primer on the difference between these two. But as we get further on in the course, you'll see how this applies to various situations. So if you have any questions, please let me know. If not, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video. Take care. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and you learned a lot from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're interested in taking this full course or just learning more about it, check out the video description down below because I've included a link where you can learn more about the course and enroll into it if you'd like. So again, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video. Take care.